And what brings distinction is power. Somebody else say power. Ah. It is the power that when you have it, even when you are sleeping, you are still dangerous. Yes, sir. If you're looking for the power of the Holy Ghost, is in the person of Jesus. Malachi chapter 3, and God began to speak from verse 13 down to verse 16. He said, in that day, I will make difference, I will, I will make separation, I will make distinction between those who serve me and those who serve me not. There has to be a difference between those of us who claim to know God and those who are religious. And what brings distinction is power. Somebody else say power. Power. You know, I'm not saying it as if you believe what I'm saying. What brings distinction is power. 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 Even Jesus himself, he told the disciples, he says, do not go to anywhere but stay in Jerusalem as it was very lifted up. He said, stay in Jerusalem until you are dealt with power from above. Because trying to live a Christian life without power is trying to convince the devil that rebellion is not profitable. And how many of you know that you failed before starting? Because the guy is not about to repent. There is no repentance in him. His rebellion is for eternity. You can repent and change your mind and follow God. And stop doing it, but he is bound to do evil. He can never change. So, as distant as light is from darkness, so is the power of God distant in the life of the one who possesses it from the one who is just a mere believer. I cease to be a mere Christian. I need the power of God in my life because with the power of God, you have something to show. Hallelujah. You have something to show. I have something to show the world. I have something to, to, to demonstrate that God is alive. Hallelujah. You have something to demonstrate. There is a proof inside of you that does not require explanation. It is just a proof of his presence in you. A proof of his abiding presence in you. And that proof is called power. Amen. When the power is there, there will be result, significant Amen. result, everywhere, in every situation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not a potential power. We call it a dynamic, dynamic and dynamic. It is not just explosive, but it's an active power. Functional power. It is the power that when you have it, even when you are sleeping, you are still dangerous. Oh God, my Father, give some to you, some understanding to me. Because when this power we talk about that Jesus promised the disciples, when it gets renewed in you, Paul says, he talks to the church in Ephesians. He said, be ye not drunken with wine, where there is excess. Ephesians chapter 6. He said, but be ye filled with the Spirit. In other words, even though you are baptized, with the fire and the power of God, as Jesus said, you can activate and reactivate on a daily basis to improve upon it or to manifest at another dimension. Hallelujah. Amen. So maybe the kind of power that God will release to some of us, we have gone to sleep with them. And we have not done anything with them. Power increases. 
why he put it to work. The power of God manifests more when you invest it, when you practicalize it. You will even see it manifested more when you do something with it. But if you receive power and you go to sit, you receive power, you are not serving God with it. You receive power, you are not witnessing with it. You receive the power of God, you are not praying for people with the power. You will lose it. You will lose it. Because the power of God multiplies. Another way to talk about the power of God is to talk about the grace of God. And we understand God's grace is a measure. Different measures. Some have great grace. Some have abundant grace. Some have all surpassing grace. Hallelujah. Amen. But what we've got this year is what? Grace of our lives. May you receive double portion of His power. Yeah. Whatever you have been walking around with is not enough. All that you've been carrying about through 2023 is not going to be enough for the exploit of 2024. Amen. So you need power in your life. Amen. You need the power of God in your life. Amen. And then when you begin to pray and you just realize that you have broken your own record of 10 minutes prayer. Now you pray 20 minutes non-stop and you are still excited praying. And then you broke your own record of 30 minutes prayer in a group. And in the middle of the night, you just see yourself praying recklessly and praying without tiredness, without fatigue. And you are able and willing to continue. And you are just on an automatic drive when it comes to prayer. You pray. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you do that, you see more results. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And then the power of God coming upon your business that what? takes you like two hours to, to sell, maybe sometimes in a day, you sell only two. You have only two clients. But when the power of God comes into your life, it's like somebody dropping sugar in the midst of ants. Everybody's attracted to you. Why? Because I'm a fresh function of the Holy Spirit. The rest of the Those who carry power cannot hide. They can hide. Even if they are quiet, the power will attract audience. Amen. I pray that your mind will attract what your future is. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Nobody says no to a man with power. You cannot be refused. You cannot, you cannot be refused. Someone say I cannot be refused. I cannot be refused. So let's look at a few things that God said about this year 2024 and beginning tonight we are starting with the power of the Holy Ghost power of the Holy Ghost okay, the very first point is first John I mean, the book of John chapter 1 verse 16 and the word says for in his fullness we have all received in grace for grace and we talked about the fullness of Jesus so when we look at Colossians chapter 1 verse 19, Colossians chapter 1 verse 19, we found out that for it has pleased the Father that all the divine fullness, meaning the Father and the Son, the Holy Ghost, all the divine fullness, everything that made God God, the totality of God, has been kept in the person of Jesus Christ. So that if you're looking for the Father, He is in Christ Jesus. Yeah. If you're looking for the Word of God, He is in the person of Jesus. Yeah. If you're looking for the power of the Holy Ghost, He is in the person of Jesus. Yeah. So all oh, the fullness of Godhead was kept in one. And that is Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So that when you mention in the name of Jesus, all hell shivers. Amen. 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 
But you are faced with a challenge. And you need object attention. And you cry out in the name of Jesus. All the power of the Holy Ghost is released. The dignity and the integrity of the Father is released. All that makes God, God is released. In Acts chapter 4, verse 12, the Bible says, And there is no other name under heaven by which men will be saved, except through the name of Jesus Christ. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 6 to 9, the Bible says, Jesus taught it now, Robert, to be equal with God. But he, plus the fact that he knows he was equal with God, he humbled himself to the death of the cross. He obeyed God to the very end. And what happened? And the Father seen him in full obedience. He now exalted him and gave him a name that is superior and supreme to every other name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every name should of the things of God, the things of heaven, the things under the earth. So, when you scream the name of Jesus, you are dealing with the galaxies. You are dealing with all the forces in the earth. You are dealing with the powers that are in the heavens. You are dealing with the forces of darkness on earth. You are dealing also with the forces in the water world. You are dealing with every power that can be called power. And they all bow to that authority of Jesus. Amen. From today, may the mention of Jesus in your mouth may it produce power. Amen. 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 May you not say the name of Jesus and witches are still busy doing their job. So all the fullness of God, the divine nature of God, all of it, the totality of his perfection, the totality of the power of God, the totality of the attributes of God is in the person of Jesus Christ. Totality, completeness. So when you say the fullness of God, you are talking about the totality of God. You're talking about all the attributes of God. And let's look at some of the attributes of God. So God is good. It's an attribute. God is gracious. It's an attribute. God is faithful. It's an attribute. God is reliable, trustworthy. God is awesome. God is able. Every attribute of God is complete. In one person called Jesus, Amen. all the power of God, all his perfection is complete, absolutely complete in Jesus, not just now, but permanently. Amen. Amen. That's what that scripture says. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 19, it says, For it pleases God, I'm saying it again, it is not as seen by coincidence. All the completeness and the totality and the power and the attribute of God just came into the person of Jesus just for one time. No, it is God's pleasure that everything that is called divinity is in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we were given that name. Hallelujah. We were appointed with that name. We were offered that name that is superior, that is supreme, that is higher than every other name. We were given. We don't have to pay for it. We do not have to secure everybody's support to use the name of Jesus. The authoritative name, the name that is perilous, the name that is sophisticated. The name that is higher than every other name. The name that witches cannot handle. The name that wizards are trembling whenever they hear it. The name that shakes the powers of hell, even in the water world. The name that brings victory, even when they lose as if they will never be victory. 
It was the lamb that stilled the storm. It was the lamb that brought kindness to the sea. It was that lamb that opened the blind eyes. It was that lamb that made provision. Let us see from God. That is the authentic name of Jesus. Oh, I am so proud of the name of Jesus. That is my powerhouse. The name of Jesus is my powerhouse. There are situations and circumstances when I don't even have words to pray and to talk about what I am feeling. But I have no need of good words, of good English to call the name Jesus. I just shout the name of Jesus by faith, and everything that held me captive just break out. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. How many of you feel power that is inside the name of Jesus? Amen. Amen. Now, if you can help me shout that name of Jesus, then let the thunder of God break forth, and everything that is holding on to you, let them also break forth in the name of Jesus. Say, Jesus. I rebuke you in 
the name. Harry Pink. You see him manipulating your business, manipulating your job, manipulating your home. You, if you understand what I'm talking about, the power of God, completeness of God, the totality of God, the fullness of God, embedded in that name, Jesus. So you look at the enemy, the Lord, even when we look at the book of Daniel chapter 9, we saw that Daniel began to pray and he began to fast. And God sent forth the answer he needed. And then one demon went and then he died. The prince of passion. The answer could not come forth. And for 21 days, the man was fasting and praying. But the answer was released the very first day. No, let me, let me drop and say to you. Anyone, any thoughts that would like to manipulate all that God has programmed for your life this year, say to them, the Lord will be you to say that in the name of Jesus. So Michael, an archangel, was released from above. And he came forth. And he told about that demon that was trying to hold that answer. He said, the Lord rebuked you. And he allowed the passage. Somebody said, passage must be allowed. Passage must be allowed. And the manifestation must not be hindered. That's what it means. And who's there? Works 
to my life. I will draw and cancel. I will draw and cancel every contract and commitment. Every contract and commitment. I have with Satan. I have with Satan. I neutralize and I revoke. I neutralize and I revoke every oppression of sin and Satan. Every oppression of sin and Satan in my life. In my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank <laughs> you. 